Here we have senior men at the start line. Yeah, we have in the first hit Jorge Luis Martinez from Mexico and from Taiwan, Yu Ling Huang. This morning, they were. This morning, they were in the. The 17, the higher 17s. Jorge Martinez has been racing this past few years in a very good way in the sprinting. He usually does better in the 200 meter on road, but let's see how he just performed on track. 17.5, that is way faster than this morning. That is right up there um, at the podium level. Let's see what happens here. Aita, watching I, this time, does your predictions change on what the winning times will be? I don't know. Maybe, maybe the winners will be in 17.1. I think so. And look, something we have something special for this final. We have um, two Colombians, two Italians, two two athletes from Chile, and two. Athletes, athletes from Chinese Taipei. There you can see how dominant certain countries are in this sport, you know? For now, for the second heat, they were racing Li Yang Kuo from Taiwan and Albrecht Simon from Germany. Let's wait for their time. Okay, we have the third heat, the third heat between Chile, Lucas Silva, and the athlete from France, Gandalf, Leve Pivar. Fast start for both skaters. Done that 100 meter mark. It is incredible they are already on the five fives. So uh, I guess Maita is right. We, we could actually see the 17.3, the 17.1, 17.2. I think this final is not easy for the Colombians. Uh, what we can see is that they weren't um, qualified for the finals um, in the last hits like the other hits. We saw that they were also the best. They were the best uh, qualifiers. So I think it's, it's a hard race for them. As you can see, we already have four athletes on the 17.5. It's crazy uh, how tight these times are. Uh, Colombia's are now on the track. Here comes Pedro Caucil, probably the most, one of the most decorated sprinters that Colombia has had. 
And Steven Villegas from Colombia as well. Very fast starter. We have Pedro Causil racing against and Steven Villegas, both Colombians. I see Pedro's corner. Oh, that's Steven right there. Yeah, that's Pedro. It's we really very, can't tell. very difficult yeah, we really to recognize. Can't tell. We really can't tell uh, how fast they were. But it looks like they both skated great lines. We just have to wait for the times here now. Diego, if you were in this final, would you like being on that last heat and feeling the pressure or being on a third heat and just going through it? Wow. Wow. It's actually Steven number one. Number one, Steven Villegas from Colombia, 17.231. These are the new Colombian generations of sprinters. Yeah, we have the fifth heat. Civilier Ian from France racing against Dani Sargoni from Italy. They really need to improve their time for this morning if they want to have a medal. We just saw the two Colombians skating 17.2, so they really have to step up their game. They are getting prepared. Ricardo Verdugo from Chile and Duccio Marsili from Italy. They are the last hit. We're going to know, we're going to have gold, silver, and bronze medal for this senior men 200 meters dual track. We still don't have the times from the past heat, right? Not yet. I think they won't start till they till we have the time of the fifth heat. I'm sweating right now, so if I'm feeling this way, I don't want to know how they they are feeling right now. Yeah, emotions, emotions through the roof. They have to be able to control these emotions, you know. Especially on these races, you can't make any mistake. It's all about skating good lines, um, being in a great position in the corners, having a great start. They are actually waiting for the times? I think so. I think so because they... That's the, the way for the judges to see if the, the clock works. It's not very good for them to wait so long. They get a little bit nervous about that, waiting so much. They are ready to start, like, feeling so much pressure right now. Yeah, but as, as you said this morning, Diego, you also have to train that. You also have to train um, to be prepared. Uh, okay, Colombia, for two. now we have one, two for the Colombians and the Italian and French men. They did the third and fourth place for now. So the last hit, the Italian and the... Um, and Ricardo Verdugo from Chile. Ricardo, he did the first, I know, it was Ducho Marci, Marcilli who did the first time this morning with 17.3. Great start from Italy. Great start. Really attacked that first. Oh. 
Italy. I saw Italy first. Yeah, I think, I think so Ricardo, he has a little bit trouble in the um, last cool. corner. He was, he almost crashed. Very good corner. <laughs> Colombia, go for Colombia here. It'll be Colombia, Colombia, and I think it'll be Italy. Yeah. Danny Sarboni. Yeah, that's it. So we have the podium for the senior men 200 meters dual time trial final. First place, Steven Villegas Ceballos from Colombia. Second place, Pedro Armando Causil from Colombia. And third place, Ducho Marsili from Italy. Yeah, you can feel, you can feel the crowd outside. The Colombians are really, really happy with their results. So Colombia won every single race. This 200 meter dual time trial. What does this mean for, not only for Colombia, but for the whole skating? community for the last for the last I don't know uh, 10 years Colombia have been standing out as the um, elite for the sprinters once it was it was at one point it was Italy at one point we had we had great skaters from from the US um, 